I didn't realize choice was so complicated. I found the book very helpful in trying to understand how people make choices and what are the implications of that. We are making choices every day, from the moment we wake up in the morning to the moment we go to bed at night. And these choices make up who we are. I think I first got enamored with choice when I was a very little girl. I grew up in a fairly religious family. My parents were Sikhs, and they pretty much raised me with this idea that everything about life was either dictated by God, your religion, or by your parents. At the same time, I was growing up in New York, and the Americans that I met in school were all about choice. Because I lived in these two worlds, I constantly had to think about what choices I had available, what the consequences were for making certain choices, what choice really meant. Being blind made me aware of the fact that choice had limits. When you have choices and then you have to commit to one way or the other, you know there's no going back. That's a tough thing to face. I wanted to be an architect, now I'm doubting about it. Maybe, maybe turning to law. Do I want to spend the rest of my life with this person? Or should I wait? I'm from India, so I left my country, my family, my dogs, cats. Like everybody, I dislike making choices at all. Choice can be a burden, but without it, our life loses meaning. While the desire for choice is innate, the actual act of choosing, the exercise of making a choice and doing that well, is a skill. Stop thinking, just go. That's how I make a lot of decisions. I believe in destiny. Uh, I believe in randomness. It's much more interesting if you can make your own choice. Any one of us could tell the story of our own lives from the perspective of fate, from the perspective of chance, or from the perspective of choice. It's when we tell the story of our lives in terms of choice that it gives meaning to the things we do every day. Choice is the only tool we have that enables us to go from who we are today to who we want to be tomorrow.